I'm here with Norris A. Ben from Liberia. Oh, okay. How long have you been playing pickleball? Ah, it was my first time here in Ghana. It was day before yesterday. It was my first day on the pickleball court. So how was it? How was ah, the experience? It was awesome. The players, the coaches, everybody welcoming. And I feel good playing pickleball for the first time. What was the name of the bat you're holding? Uh, it's called a paddle. Oh, okay. I can see you really enjoy the game. Yeah, the game is a beautiful game. Especially here in Ghana, we're having a lot of coats. Like I'm, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five. But this game is new in Liberia. We don't have it in Liberia. Yeah. Did you see any weather differences or is the same weather? Um, it's a bit weather differences here. Yeah. You got now in Liberia, a lot of rain falling. And yeah, according to the they're in the rainy season, but we still have good weather all day. But whenever it's in Liberia, we have a long day rain. Sometimes two, three days rain for. So I think the weather is good here. Yeah. And by five o'clock, we're already seeing a daylight. But in my country, Liberia, we get us up at six thirty, seven 7 o'clock. So it, the weather is different here. Yeah. Uh, what experience have you gained from the Ghana Pickleball, uh, Club Pickleball Club that you are taking back to Liberia? Um, my main objective is here. I came for a training and I can say I've achieved 95% of it because tomorrow my training will be ending. Thanks to the Ghana Pickleball Federation and the Confederation of African Pickleball and Coach Coach Apia, who have been with me all through, took me through the drills and other things, and a lot I will be carrying back to Liberia. And I appreciate all the players, the coaches, they were so nice to me, and I enjoy being here. Will you be coming back again? Yes, I will be here when when the level one coaching workshop comes up, I will be here. And I will not be alone. I will come with some players too that would love to take the, the course. Wonderful. You are welcome. You are always welcome to Ghana. Thank you so much. We also, maybe we will also uh, be waiting for your invite to come to Liberia and play with your team. Yes, it's one of the things that is on our agenda. If I go back, set up the Liberia People Board Federation. After that, we'll get some coaches from here because my one cannot do it. To get coaches from Ghana that will come and help to train some coaches on that side that we can go all into the counties. Like the way you're having region here, we call the counties. We're having a 15 counties over there that people Ball have not reached yet. So when the coaches can train players in all of the country, one day Liberia can host the All African game, we don't know. Or we can host the Aegean Pigo Ball tournament for West Africa. It's something that we'll be looking into. It's wonderful having you in Ghana. And you are you're always welcome. Thank you so much. And then uh, we, we want you to go and spread the news there. Hospitality, the welcoming, exactly. The you exactly. And then, uh, we also hope to come over to Liberia. Yes. Thank you for coming and then it's nice having you. Yeah, especially to the number one, George Duke. Duke is someone I've been following because he do the same program. I am a tennis player to a tennis trainer. So I follow him. It was nurse playing with him yesterday. It was the first time. Play with the number one, play with the number two, and the whole. Let's say a crap people ball team or yeah yesterday. I enjoy it. I can say Ghana is my second home now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's amazing. I I I mostly see these foreigners come here and then uh, automatically they fall in love with the country, they fall in love with the people. And then we are really happy you came and joined us. And we hope you are taking you are taking a lot back to your own country. Uh, what are your last words for the people over there who are having uh, join football, who are thinking of joining football, who, who do you have to tell them? Um, I can tell everybody up there that are watching, some people go on the television and see this, especially in my country, Liberia. I can say to the people, boy, it's a nurse game that you can play at any age. You can be 60, 70 years, you don't need extra skill, just meet the ball in front and go with your party in front. It's a nurse game. I would love to see more people playing it. Like the way in Ghana, yeah, I'm seeing people all over playing. It's my dream to see this post prayer all part of Liberia. Yeah, so we have a, a traffic football club, an official club where uh, everything goes on and then we also have an official Instagram page and we have a YouTube page. I don't know if you have come across our, use, our videos on YouTube. Yes, I've been following. I've been following. I started from on social media. It's where I got connected with the Pico Ball Federation, getting in connection with Apostle and all of the people. It was true Apostle recommendation. I'm here today. So I've been following Pico Ball all through. It's just like in Ghana was my first time playing it. Because we don't play in Liberia, I've not been playing in Liberia, so it will be something I will be carrying there. So do you have a football uh, 
It's something new I'm going to start. Oh, okay. It's something new I'm going to start. We're going to establish the Liberia Pico Ball Federation. We've got some we got some equipment that I'm carrying by almost 40 pieces of uh powder. We have carrying eight nets, carrying 200 plus balls to Liberia that we're going to set up something. Pretty soon, maybe you will see people playing Pico Ball all in Liberia. Wonderful, wonderful. We are happy to see the game expand beyond the world. And then uh we are grateful for uh, taking that initiative. We pray that uh, you get, uh, you get a, a, a YouTube channel as well, and then an Instagram page, and then we speak to them. Thank you very much for your time. You are welcome. Thank you so much.